What are a few of the dangers of getting a tattoo or a piercing when you are drunk or high? Infection, maybe? Oh, uh, if you're drunk, you can, you're, uh, I've heard of rumours that you tend to bleed more. Regret, because you are making a decision without being completely, you know, stable to make that decision. We hear a lot about um, infections uh, that, that one can get that's become septic and into the bloodstream and things like that. And obviously, you just, you're just you off your guard. You're not, you're not looking out for a dirty needle or a rusty, a rusty gun or... You know, we hear about superbugs and things like that, so I would definitely be a bit concerned about something to go wrong. Of course, if it's a tattoo, it's going to be permanent. A piercing you can take out, but some things you can't take back. Danger can be that you think at that point it's cool tattoo, cool idea, and then you wake up another day and you're like, fuck no. <laughs> that you're not thinking properly, um, you don't know who's really doing what. Um, you could be getting a tattoo off anyone. You know, you're not making sure the tattoo guy's got gloves on when you're, when you're off your face, lying down, getting a tattoo. The dangers of getting a tattoo or piercing while drunk or high. Well, the first thing is you might have appalling taste in, what you, in both what and where you've got your tattoo and you will really regret that in the morning. But again, you may also not check for the really obvious things, the safety of, and the hygiene of the place you're getting it done. And that could put you at risk to an STI. Thank you.